Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we are going to do a run as the Keeper, and to do whatever remains, oh, we get Eden's Blessing to activate, and we start off with the Dunce Cap, how wonderful. We also start off with the Wooden Nickel, uh, because we unlocked that the previous time, so now every time we clear a room, we can use the wooden nickel and hopefully get some money out of that. Would like to go for boss rush, but with this start, I'd, I'd like to go for anything really and hope for the best that we can actually make it anywhere. Because uh, I'm not great at the dunce cap of all the items in the game. It is one that it, it is a bit tricky to aim as you cannot shoot forward. So I'm not loving how that has started off. But I'm hoping things are gonna be okay. Uh, having the wooden nickel definitely makes the run a lot safer than the previous keeper run that we did. So I'm hoping we can keep that energy uh, while we just harshly ignore that we have started off with the dun dunce cap instead. And uh, hopefully that's gonna work out. Uh, hoped for the super secret room there and it ended up working out. We got four keys, so I might as well check. That was a super secret room with a lot of red hearts, so it ended up just um, being a bunch of um, flies instead. We can use that to clear the boss relatively easily, even if we cannot directly fire at the boss. Um, Lil Horn, not too troublesome usually, and with a large quantity of flies, that is no different for sure. That is the first boss already taken care of. I'll probably start grabbing all the coins that we have left behind so far. I'm guessing my super secret room is probably over here. And with that, I mean my regular secret room, but I like to keep things super every now and then. So, so far, things are looking good. Might as well check that out before I decide to go into my shop, I suppose, to see if we can actually afford anything. And also with this poop trinket, I should actually be shooting at all of these poops. At least with the Keeper, the uh, Tooth is pretty good, and normally we shoot three tiers at a time. Right now we're shooting four because of the Dunce Cap. And that does mean we can clear some of these things relatively quickly. Uh, we do still need to do Boss Rush and Hush, so playing quickly would be smart, I suppose. But with uh, 13 coins, I'm feeling a little bit more tempted to at least try to check out our shop in case there is something in there. Maybe there's a shopkeeper that we can blow up if needed. And that is pretty tempting. That can lead to some pretty good consumables for sure. Unfortunately, didn't get that coin the moment I wanted it. Um, and I think... I don't really want to blow up my donation machine right now, so I think I'm just going to go and move on ahead. Checking this for anything good. Some extra flies don't hurt. Would have been a soul heart normally, I suppose, but... I'll take the flies as they do make some rooms a little bit easier. Maybe this will have a coin inside it. Nope, in that case we're just good to go and we will move onwards. Onwards is the keeper who cannot shoot forward. <laughs> I am very much concerned about where this run is gonna go, but so far things are okay. It's like it's not too horrible to shoot like this. It does help that we're shooting four tiers instead of the usual two, I suppose. So I can appreciate that at least. But it's still in terms of uh the mental capacity of uh learning how to deal with this. There is some trouble here, unfortunately. And we do have spectral tears because of that, though, and that does end up helping out with rooms like this, at least. We have a fly flying around us, so if need be, we can try and use that instead of our tears as well. But also, that would be a little bit fiddly for sure, but enemies that can only shoot horizontally and vertically do become a little bit easier, I suppose, when all I can do is shoot diagonally, since there is no way they'll ever actually hit me when I'm trying to attack them. So, so far so good. Did forget to use my thing there. Uh, would like to just lure everyone to this side of the room, please. Uh, and blow them up roughly over there. Really thought that would have been a secret room there. Uh, and I feel like they probably exploded close enough to that uh, to work out, but... Unfortunately, nothing opened, and it might have been me being uh, doing that a little wrong, of course, not uh, impossible at all. But mm, I don't know. It's making me doubt that my secret room is there for sure. It is uh, very much putting doubt in the mind. Five coins right there, very good. We were running low on health after I got hit there, so I don't mind that at all. 
These machines a uh, little tempting in case there is a um, blood bag inside there, I suppose. The speed up would not hurt and the extra health would not hurt either, but I'm just not gonna think about it for now because I think you only get like max one coin back usually. Birthright, no effect yet. So, so much for that, I suppose. I could just buy it just for the sake of it, but no real point in doing that. I guess I might as well take this. Uh, actually, I don't fully agree with that. I guess I should have kept some coins for the boss room, uh, the devil deal rather, because we can, of course, buy devil deal items with coins with this character. That is just simply how this character works. Um, but uh, yeah, kind of forgot about that, so fair enough. Could try to get some more money, but I think I'll just go for angel rooms instead. Just make it a little bit easier on myself in that regard. Really getting a lot done with this fly as well, which is lovely. A spider mod called setting him on fire as well. Very nice. And that is a speed up. With five coins, I can't really do anything in the devil deal, so... Uh, I am actually just going to move forward. And uh, hopefully we can do something with angel rooms and perhaps a boss rush as well. We no longer need to do... Um, whatchamacallit, the uh, Mega Satan anymore. So I don't need to worry about that. So we don't need to destroy angel statues specifically. Uh, and that does mean we can go for Devil Deals later in the run, if need be. So that is at least uh, a nice extra choice if we get those. And it also means we have some extra time to play with because we just simply don't have to blow up those Angel Statues. So, things... Um, in terms of trying to go for boss rush, other than attacking being fairly horrendous, it's not too bad. It's actually, uh, like, acceptable, I suppose. We don't particularly need to look for Tinted Rocks as this character either. Uh, simply due to the fact that, um, that you, you generally just don't get that much. I mean, for the most, we could get, like, Small Rock. Small Rock could obviously be pretty damn good, but that is more or less the only thing that I'd be kind of excited about. And I don't really feel like spending large quantities of bombs to try and find that. But I will say that if this run dies, I'll just start another one, is, is how I'm feeling right now. Unless it takes, like, a long time to die. But, quite frankly, the fact that I can't shoot forward is pretty damn annoying. <laughs> because we're really losing out on so much damage now that I'm getting to the even slightly later parts of the run. Because normally you can at least get your three tiers close to each other and deal some extra damage that way. And we just don't have that option right now. So, unless we get, like, Tractor Beam, I'm, I'm feeling like this run is not looking too positive right now. But we'll see. We'll see what we can get. There is a coin still there for safety. There is a lot of coins here, which I might as well just grab. I was kind of hoping not to take that damage the second time, but was doubting myself a little bit while doing that, and that ended up not in my favor, unfortunately. I really do need to start using these teeth as well to my maximum capability. I really mustn't miss with my tears, I'm realizing, because... The teeth are a pretty important part of my damage right now. My tear rate is pretty disastrous as well. <laughs> Which, I'm not sure if this is regular keeper tear rate, actually, or if it's actually worse, because it does feel quite bad, but of course, normally you do have that triple shot, which does decrease your tear rate quite significantly, usually. So, it's not too strange that we're not shooting that quickly right now, I suppose, but oof. It is taking a minute to do much of anything right now, and it is concerning me a lot. <laughs> but that's the Keeper. It is not an easy character to play as at the end of the day. Free Lemonade. I mean, I'll touch it. But I don't want to keep that. That is not worthwhile. But it is nice to just uh, make sure it doesn't appear again, I suppose. If we can get a Dice Room or any way of re-rolling items, then... Very much tempted to go with that for sure. But if not, then... Uh, We'll just not get an item room this time around, unfortunately. But as you can see, at this rate, uh, the devil, the, the boss rush might not be in our favor simply because we're just not clearing rooms quick enough, and that is concerning me a bit. There's options. Uh, that is pretty damn good. I kind of have to take that. It doesn't really matter for this floor anyway, since if we do get an, a door to open at the boss room, then it is going to be an angel room, so we don't need to have money available for that. But it, I, I kind of need a lot of money with this character, I'm realizing. That's really the main thing. I need I need some way to get more money, really. Oof, that was an interesting way to dodge an attack. Again, an interesting way to dodge. That one worked out, fortunately. Did end up getting one more coin, but now we have to fight 
mega fatty without our item active unfortunately and immediately i took damage there which is not helping i'm really mostly just using the fly right now to deal any kind of damage at all against this boss which is not great because of those many aoe attacks that this boss does have the the creep that he leaves behind upon a jump is not going to help in that regard the tears flying all over the place is not helping out the gas when he farts can kill you as well like there's so much that can very easily take care of you during this boss fight so far he's playing fairly nice at least but not oh god <laughs> god our damage is terrible really need to get something out of our next item room for sure because this is horrendous maybe from the angel room as well holy mantle that'll do it that is at least an extra layer of protection right there but with that i can go into my curse room as well for free effectively assuming i don't take damage in the actual curse room itself but i'm gonna say boss rush is probably off the table if uh if we're not gonna get anything on our next floor and that's okay it doesn't have to be a boss rush run every single run i suppose but it would be nice if it was as much as possible at the end of the day but let's see we are not dying yet let's just throw a coin down here one red chest with a whole bunch of nothing fair enough seven coins to go into our next floor we have found our secret room already i don't know exactly where my super secret room is but i'm guessing the room next to this one like right here and if it's not there no idea but also don't have any more bombs to try so really quite unlucky but fair enough fair enough indeed <laughs> it is it's a rough one but we're making progress we can at least go in here now curse of the tower very nice that's not something i'm particularly interested in but also something i'm not particularly opposed to right now but that's just because i'm I'm losing faith <laughs> with every room that we clear. I mean, the Holy Mantle does add a significant amount of extra safety right there. Since it does mean we can take another hit every single room. As such, we can create more money with that wooden nickel as well. So, in a way, it is at least kind of good. This is just going to give us some flies at the end of it. The flame actually doing so much damage from um, Spider Mod there, so that's quite nice. And really, I should probably just be actively trying to attack with my fly right now. Uh, due, simply due to the fact that we have that safety of the Holy Mantle available and might as well just be as dangerous as possible from this point as a result of that. Of course, losing the Holy Mantle immediately does not help, but we can shoot behind these walls, which, which these skeletons cannot do. So we do have that extra level of safety available. <laughs> A lot of big rooms on this floor, though. I'm not loving that at all. Really would like it if you woke up as well. There you go. Barely even using my tears when I'm actively trying to use the flies right now, but that's just more of a trying to focus on multiple things at the same time kind of thing. And that's the way it will go. Ten coins. Very good. If we get a devil deal, then that is very nice to have for sure. Items like brimstone are still going to cost like 30 coins and... Well, we've seen with Monstro's Lung previously how long charge items work with this character, so it's not always exactly an ideal choice to take Brimstone regardless. But there are other fairly expensive items which I would like to have, which uh, currently are not on the table either simply by how expensive they are. So hopefully we can get some more money in that regard. Trying to dodge while not destroying them with my fly is an interesting situation we're in right now, but it's working out. Five more coins out of a random poop. I will take that. Very good so far. Not sure where my shop is. I probably should be looking for it. That is uh, a choice. Both of them are not exceptionally good, but I mean, the common cold is probably the better one out of the two for sure. And let's just pick up this coin right here. Uh, I'll just keep going, I think. Alright, so much for that idea, I suppose. Almost died to Larry Jr. The Holy Mantle, unfortunately, doesn't give you quite as much invincibility as it once did. It does run out very quickly, that invincibility period. So you do need to be very careful with that. And uh, I wasn't, so yeah, there you go. The sacrifice room is a little tempting for sure uh, because you can drop a lot of money on the floor and then 
You can probably make something happen with that, but it is a little fiddly to try and make that happen. We haven't found our secret room yet, and I don't hate it being here, but I don't like that damage I took with being able to see how much damage we're dealing. It is a little bit more dependable to destroy that one in the right place, but it was getting a little fiddly there for sure. I love this room. Don't have a lot of space to work with here, unfortunately. Should probably just stick to the middle as much as I can. We did take a hit to our Holy Mantle. Our Holy Mantle is really saving this run right now, but it does at the end of the day also make me play significantly more dangerous than when I don't have the Holy Mantle, I suppose. So, Not sure if it's a completely fair comparison. Mm, being able to carry two trinkets would be kind of nice. Ace of Hearts doesn't do that much except clear a room, which I don't actually mind too much. And I don't have a way to realistically get 30 coins, unfortunately, which I don't love. Oh, God. Did not notice the fly that got spawned there, but it's it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Is it all good? We are very low on health. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, he is not loving me today, but we made it through. Did not get a devil deal. Yeah, a bunch of nothing on these floors, unfortunately. I don't mind being able to carry two trinkets, I guess, but... Really could use a little bit more. That is at least something. It means we don't have to use keys on uh, golden chests anymore, as long as we carry that trinket around. But, oof. This fly is, like, the main source of our damage, and it is an awkward life to live. Curse of the Blind. At least we've already seen Curse of the Tower, so I'm hoping that we don't see that again because of it. Uh, that might be worthwhile, actually. Yeah, shot speed down, very nice. Could use the Chariot card here, but I might keep it until we either find a better card or a boss, because it does make life a little bit easier with that fly, after all. The fly can easily take care of these as well. This <laughs> tiny little fly. Might not be the most effective thing anyone's ever seen, but it is helping out a lot right now. I appreciate it for sure. I'm curious what the rest of my pill pool is like as well, because... I actually wouldn't say no to trying to get the marble unlock once again, but... <laughs> that's a lot of spiders. Charged key allows us to get one more coin. Should probably leave a couple for safety's sake, but... I uh, will not. <laughs> I haven't, and I shall not do that at all, it turns out. I uh, was a little bit tempted to go for the beast for a second there, but then I had more thoughts and was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to survive the fight against the beast with a build like this. I'm surprised we haven't found any health ups either. There, there has not been a single health up at all. Maybe there was an eternal heart at some point that turned into something else, but that is it so far. I'm not loving that. Not sure what kind of champion that was that was spawning flies and things all over the place, but sure, I guess. It uh, ended up not being too big of a worry. Don't like that the fear effect happened when <laughs> touched the spider mod there, but fair enough. And even though I am I am genuinely trying to get through this as quickly as I can, it's, it's just not quick enough. <laughs> the build is just not capable of doing this very quickly, so I think I will just take my time for the remaining floors here. Really trying to make the most of it. And not going to worry about the boss rush anymore. Because quite frankly, it already seemed fairly unlikely when the dunce cap appeared. But we haven't gotten an item. We we just haven't gotten anything yet. Uh, that Outside of defense, really. We need some kind of offensive option. And we're in the depths one. And so far, that's one fly that's flying around us slowly but surely. It's an interesting item for sure. But... Just not quite enough for what we need it to do. Let's just put that fly in there. Hopefully it deals as much down as we can. There we go. Like, even with stuff like that, that's pretty quick. But do we still have two floors left? <laughs> well, one and a half, I suppose. But we're also just getting zero bombs. Just very little consumables all throughout. It is uh, just not really getting any options to speed this up, unfortunately. So, it is what it is. I might... As such, as a result of this, <laughs> go for shenanigans instead to uh, try and see if we can get something to happen here. And for that, first of all, we need to fill the entire room floor rather with coins. How 
did that statue hit me twice. <laughs> I am genuinely quite irritated how that happened. Did not expect him to actually shoot again, if I'm being honest, but fair enough. That he destroyed the holy mantle. You know what? I can accept that. But the fact that he immediately hit me again afterwards. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> that is no longer acceptable. I did still have the safety of the chariot in hand, I suppose. But definitely didn't even remotely consider it as an option. Right. Mm. Um, I'm going to look for Dagos. You know what? Let's actually just... Be a little hopeful and see if we can find a Dagoz rune in the super secret room or something like that. Because I would like to be able to see what my options are right now. Because quite frankly, it's getting to the point where I can't really afford to make a bad choice anymore. <laughs> so, I would like to do my best here a little bit. My D Devil Deal and Angel Room chances are pretty high. I wouldn't mind blowing up a shopkeeper though. Definitely wouldn't mind that at all. We got one, two, three, four, five coins on the floor, which allows us five hits in the sacrifice room as well. If we can get a particularly good secret room, or simply just blow up that poop probably. Actually, I can just blow up the poop to see if there's coins inside. And if there is coins inside, I can just use that to do whatever sacrifice room shenaniganry I feel like doing. That is not what, well, I mean, it's not bad. Uh, by any means. In fact, I should just take that. I'm trying to figure out where the secret room is right now. Which is not on that side, so let's just do this. I think I want to have that instead of the poop trinket for sure. Uh, don't love how that turned out. How is that not a secret room though? That is another item. Which is probably not even a bad item either, but I have no real way of getting it unfortunately. Reason why I'm thinking it's not a bad item is just because it's showing up here specifically, and it, it just gives me some hope, I suppose. And if I had the poop or something, I'd be able to create a small bridge. I just had any way of getting there, that would be lovely. Uh, I need to get that poop trinket back. Oh, never mind. I mean, I probably should still get the poop trinket back before doing this, but there is a lot of coins on the floor right now, so we can very easily make use of that sacrifice room without ending up with less health than we started. Ace of Diamonds is definitely better than Chariot, unfortunately. Although I might actually end up using the... Um, I don't know why I thought my secret room would be here when there's a thin room next to it, but fair enough. Um, yeah, I might use the Chariot card for the um, boss fight, I suppose. But anyway. Let's just take a hit there. We got a coin immediately. And then we didn't get a coin immediately. I can use the wooden nickel, but I didn't get anything there. 5.1% angel room chance instead of devil deal. Very nice. Very useful. But look at how quickly that holy mantle effect disappears. It's so rough. It is so rough indeed. I'm going to leave the ace of diamonds over here in this room. Because then I can more easily go back to it. Pick up the two trinkets though, because I would like to get as much money as possible, obviously. How many times have I gotten hit by the thing already? I don't really... Mm, I don't need to go all the way to the um, part where it either drops a bunch of soul hearts or the other thing. But it wouldn't hurt either, really. Um, it is tempting to try and go for that for sure. I'll actually leave that coin there in case I do something weird for the boss fight, I suppose. And it is a little bit shorter to walk here first as well. So I'll do that. Get hit once again. A bad devil deal, I guess, would have been really bad as well. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. Alright, so... Next payout is Troll Bombs. After that, it is Uriel. After, or whichever angel is the first one. One after that is the Coins or Soul Hearts. The one after that is... The rest. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna grab these coins and call it a day. Really, I just wanted an angel room item. Or, or a teleportation to the angel room or devil deal. Instead, we got a lot of you are blessed and not much else. So, we're just gonna have to call that a day, unfortunately. It is what it is. Really trying to get some items here. Uh, don't really have bombs to look for my super secret room either. So, I'm just gonna hope that this is a good item. 
It's fine. It's actually not too terrible with the Holy Mantle either, because it means we can um, run into enemies and kill them that way. We can kill enemies that deal no contact damage, although I'm never really very good at remembering which one those are. And uh, yeah, you can see me forgetting that the Chariot card was in fact in the top left of this floor until the very last moment before going into the boss room. So I hope you enjoy this small walking sequence as we're trying to get our bearings here. We already did the challenge room as well, so no possibility there. 56 coins though, if we do end up getting a devil deal somewhere along the line, then we can very easily afford it. But odds are we're going to get an angel room with that 55.7% chance, assuming the door opens, of course, which is not guaranteed. Was greed in my shop on this floor? I actually don't fully remember. Uh, but if there is anything available in my shop, I wouldn't mind buying it. That does appear to be a greed shop, so... <sighs> so much for that, but let's see. I really would like it if the door opened, though. Just give me, like, an angel room with a good item and I'll be a, a happy one. Unfortunately, not being able to tell what item is going to be there is going to be fairly harming to me, unfortunately. But, oh my god, and he perfectly hit me with that holy mantle shot at the very end there, but fair enough. Not being able to shoot forward here is, once again, not great, but not the worst thing. Tried to put a bomb down, didn't work because I don't have any. Oh boy. Nearly got hit by the gas there, but that's fine. And the fly is taking care of the rest of this. All right. We got a health up, so we actually finally have that third hard container after almost every floor. There's not a single item in my angel room. And quite frankly, this game is testing my patience in ways that I am not enjoying. <laughs> Uh, but that is the Binding of Isaac. Occasionally you're gonna have a run that's just awful, and uh, we're just gonna have to try and make the best of it. We still have certain things to do, like uh, the dark room after all, which isn't the most difficult thing in the game. So you don't really need the best build in the game to beat it. However, <laughs> it is nice when you do have the best build in the game over what is arguably not so great of a build. So uh, hopefully we can make something happen here as we slowly meander through this floor. If there is another sacrifice room, I will once again make use of it because quite frankly, at this stage, I can use any help that I can get. <laughs> and as such, we will try to go for that key. I mean, that is something. It is a lot of coins, maybe, but I kind of have to try. Yeah, all right. That's nice. That's very good. It's some extra Devil Deal chance as well. D20. That is tempting as well. Uh, D20 would be nice just because we could put a whole bunch of coins in one room and then just turn it all into consumables. And then we might be able to get a bomb finally. But maybe... We will be able to get a bomb somewhere on this floor as well. And then I don't need to worry about the D20. But it is tempting to put all my coins in one room now, though. Just keep going back to the same room over and over to uh, use that wooden nickel. This is a awkward way of doing it. I'm not really sure if it's the best way, but <laughs> with the Holy Mantle, you can get away with some stuff, I suppose. So might as well. Did end up clearing the room with it. So I'm going to say that it was a strategy. And one that worked as well, in a way. But quite frankly, Dunce Cap Keeper. I don't think I really need to repeat this experience afterwards. <laughs> I think uh, once is probably good enough for me, but we'll see, I suppose. Definitely want to go in there, though. Uh, starting to regret my choices here, but maybe this thing is pretty good. Oh, that's so strong. Oh, jeez. Ah, God, okay. I see how it is. That's a... Ch uh, I'm gonna use that there. Just... Mm, don't like that. Don't like this option right here. Don't like my choices. None of this is good times. No vibes whatsoever is how they would describe this in the history books. Because quite frankly, this is ridiculous. 
Um, but let's see. That's not a fun room. That's not a fun room at all, but fortunately the masks are playing nice. And the hearts I can just shoot from a distance, so no worries there. Very nice. There is a lot of money on this floor right now, and I'm liking that. We can use the uh, five coins as well to get hit by a sacrifice room twice. So we can get as much out of that as possible. There is the aforementioned sacrifice room that, once again, shenanigans will be ensuing. Because I'm really, really hoping for something here. Okay, that worked out. <laughs> That's how you do it. You just hope. You just really hope a lot, and then occasionally it works. There we go. Coin from the sacrifice room. A bunch of nothing from the sacrifice room. Let's go pick up those five coins that were in here. Oh, yep. Didn't notice there was a penny in front of me, but yeah, that's how you do it. Um, I'm gonna blow that up over there in the hope that there is a secret room right here. There was not, but there was a lot of coins, so that is actually quite nice. That dropped a lot of coins as well, so we are good. That's a chest, one random angel room item perhaps. Nope, <laughs> just hearts again. <laughs> ah, God, all right. Uh, let's just get this out of the way then. Could spawn Uriel real quick. Maybe get either a bunch of flies or a bunch of money. I don't hate it. Quite frankly, this is probably the best thing we could have gotten out of this at that stage. So I will happily fill up my money as much as I can and then move along. There is still some money for safety's sake available on the floor as well, so that's good. Is there not a secret room here? Because I have this feeling that there couldn't be, but now I'm not sure. Yeah, there's not a secret room next to the item room either. But I have six keys, so it doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. Right, um, this is technically a damage up and also is going to spawn flies every 13 enemies. This is not a bad familiar. And I guess I'm just going to go friend mode on this one and hope for the best. Because that thing is, it's, well for one it shoots forward. <laughs> and two, it also just uh, deals decent damage right there. As you can see. Crooked Penny. Uh, well... How much do I want to gamble on this run that has screwed me over every other turn? Probably not so much. But simultaneously, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Hanged Man. Um, it's not immediately terrible. I'm actually tempted by Tech 2. Just because then I can shoot forward. I'm just gonna try. There we go. These two machines have been really nice. Tears down by 33%. Yep. I mean, this is my attack now, at least. It's something, you know? That's the uh, slowdown. I do have the money to play with this, I suppose, so I might as well. Spider bite, that's... <laughs> well, this is gonna make everything horrible, but let's see if we can make it happen. Just a little curious at this stage, really. I have the money to do this, so I might as well. 25% chance. So it's just rolling a d4 every single time. Yep, look at those odds. I think it's 25, isn't it? God. I've gotten to the point where at this point it's a matter of pride, and that's never a good time to be at when you're playing a grabby machine. There you go. Okay. Spider baby, we're shooting, well, we're shooting tears sometimes. <laughs> shooting a lot of tears, just not frequently. All right, shot speed up, shot sure. Speed up. Yeah, this is just gonna have to be the thing. My damage is tech two, very nice. I spent most of my money doing that. You could argue that it wasn't worthwhile. You'd be correct. <laughs> You'd be very much correct on that assessment, but who knows? Maybe we'll just get not a devil deal and we can make a bunch of money on this floor. I don't know. I picked up the coin by accident before I intended to. 
probably, probably, probably should have, um, you know, made better choices. <laughs> probably should have made better choices. That's really the main thing. I can grab a bomb with this hangman card, and I'm honestly tempted. Uh, because I have none right now. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Doesn't really hurt. Might as well use the cards while I have them. You never know if you're gonna end up needing flight at any point in the run. Where are we going again? Dark room, right? We are unfortunately just late for Hush as well, so... So much for our hopes and dreams on that front. I haven't found my secret room yet. I actually should look for that, because... Uh, well, I've made my build... <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this with this character, but once again, I've made my build weird, and I, I probably shouldn't. Oh, God. I... Unless it's next to the item room, I don't think I'm just... I might just keep the bomb, actually, because it's not there. You know what? Let's just believe. Okay. Because the secret room is in some dumb place, and I, quite frankly, you know, <laughs> quite frankly, I'm sick of this nonsense. Uh, really just gonna make Lil Chubb do as much as I can here, and quite frankly, it's doing alright. It's doing some work here. Very good. Occasionally, some of my tears are probably hitting as well. Slow down there. I'm surprised the uh, eyes on the wall haven't shot yet, but fair enough, I guess. Once again, check it out. It is still dark room. Didn't get a double deal, which I actually don't mind because we were inca incapable of getting one more coin. So even if there was a cheap devil deal, I wouldn't be able to afford it. But we're in the scarred womb with whatever this build is. I mean, that works. Tech 2 is, uh, is genuinely not the worst choice that I've made in this run. <laughs> It is definitely better than what it used to be, as it's no longer such a significant damage down. It's just the tier rate is pretty bad at this stage. And quite frankly, I can survive the bad tier rate right now. I am once again setting myself up for a potential... Uh, speed down. That's not great. <laughs> I'm setting myself for, up for another potential um, sacrifice room. I'm just going to keep doing that until I get something out of it, because I feel like this character... Uh, well, if you start with the Crooked Penny, at least, you, you do have a lot of options in terms of sacrifice rooms, and it does make them a lot more viable. You don't need to rely on health drops, and that's just really nice, because you're making health drops the entire run. And that is just very nice. There is another sacrifice room. This is the longest run I've ever done. Oh, jeez. Doesn't help when I just stop dodging entirely, though. There is a small battery there, which could be good. Five coins, very nice. This is gonna go reasonably quickly, I suppose. Four... Oh, that helps. <laughs> Five and six. And... Once again, not a angel room item. Only a couple of flies. Uh, I guess I might as well actually just go for the whole thing, huh? Should actually just use this. Nope. Here we go. Bloop. And then we get some of our health back here. And perhaps either we're going to get a lot of flies or we're going to get a large amount of money, which I could potentially use in a devil deal with the 59% angel room chance that I currently have. Quite frankly. I'm surprised this run's still going. <laughs> I didn't really anticipate that, but you know what? Fair enough. I'm gonna take it. Don't don't mind the spectral tech two either. Like he was just walking back and forth, confused the entire time, and I appreciate that. Not a secret room there. That's unfortunate. Little tempted to take Mr. Boom just so I can have some extra bombs to play with, but nah. I feel like that cannot be worthwhile. Realistically speaking, I feel like that's just... There must be a better way. <laughs> it's probably here, isn't it? Yeah. Blank card. Hmm. If we find a sun card anywhere, I'll take it. 
for exactly one use. But for now, I do still appreciate the fact that I'm getting large quantities of health. Also, I have zero cars on my person right now. So maybe if we find like a better card or something, it could be worthwhile. I'm a little tempted by the challenge room there, but not like a whole lot. But mostly just because it's a golden chest and I can open those for free and I haven't really been doing that that much. So I probably should be doing that at least a little bit occasionally. But at the same time, we're making progress, sort of. In our own little way. Big old Tech 2 fun times is, is probably the best descriptor of this run. You, you might wonder, when is Tech 2 good? And apparently the answer is when the rest of your build is less good. And quite frankly, it's working out. Uh, the the 0 0.38 tier rate that I've put myself in uh, on purpose entirely is weirdly enough working out not working out that great, um, which I'm not loving. That's too much effort to play with, so um, let's just do uh, Mr. Fred. I don't know if there was a shopkeeper in my secret room actually. Didn't really look at it that much. I'm getting a little bit of use out of my non-tech based damages here, so that's good. Though I might occasionally switch it up a bit to just get rid of them because I don't like it when they start running around. It does make life a little bit less predictable at the end of the day. <laughs> this is pretty rough though. Uh, I can't actually attack him without taking damage myself. That, that was pretty avoidable though. Uh, because of... Oh, that creep. I wish I had flight. Flight would make this build a little bit more tolerable for sure. Let's just drop a coin there. There you go. Angel room. That's it's really not surprising, I suppose, but still would have appreciated it being a devil deal. Mmm, though. Yep, that's gonna be horrendous, but quite frankly. Oh my god, look at it! Okay, when this is finished is charging, I'm just curious what kind of attack we're dealing with here, because quite frankly, that's a charge rate. Alright. That's not worth it. <laughs> I might still end up just using Tech 2 just so the sound isn't horrendous, but... We, uh, uh, we have the worst sword I've had in a bit. Getting a lot of swords, though. Like, all things considered, we've been getting the sword quite frequently. Don't mind it. I wonder if Tech 2 deals more damage now, because I feel like it is a bit more usable now. The sword, the charged sword is actually dealing a lot of damage. That more or less doubles our charge rate, so that's not bad. Mostly because we haven't really gotten many tiers up yet, but it's working out. Yeah, not bad. We're getting what you could call a build. And a way to survive? This is actually getting alright. It just took the entire run, but here we are. If we're in the womb, it's not the entire run yet. we still got some places to be. Would like to find... I like how it can just stop swinging as well. And the little, like, pokes is actually doing decent damage as well to some of these enemies. I'm actually curious how much damage these pokes are actually doing, if quad shot and all that actually help out at all. Or if it's really just hurting my charge rate a lot, which is really my main guess is what's happening right now. <laughs> but it's working out. Like, look at how quick these enemies are dying to tech 2. It's actually really effective. Don't mind it. Like, that's the range of the entire room. I'm excited, so that speeds up things technically. Ooh, that does work against bosses, though. Yeah, we got something going. Retrovision, great. I love seeing and not. And the opposite of that. That's probably even my second favorite. Uh, let's just do this safely. Tech 2 actually makes it a little bit easier because you can just push it into the flames with it. I wasn't charging my sword, I realized. I was shooting with Tech 2, but my sword wasn't out. Whoops. Ooh, that one flew. Oh, we're excited, I see. I can just wait that out, but I'd rather not. I'd rather play a game where I can't see and everything moves twice as fast instead. That's clearly the better option. <laughs> Obviously. What else are you gonna do? Wait, please. That would be the sensible thing to do. I love these slowed down death animations as well. It's really helping me out. Thanks, spider baby. 
Very good. Ah, look at that, though. That is so strong. I don't know why I even thought anything would be there, but I had a good feeling about it. There's a lot of places where there could be a secret room. Jeez. Uh, let's go for a super... S nope. Let's not go for anything? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Let's just charge up our main sword. There we go. That should be enough to at least no longer spawn eyes, so that's nice. Spawn five coins in there. Even if we take two hits, I can heal up again. And I'm looking forward to taking those two hits, and I will. I am actively trying to take those two hits there, as it turns out. <laughs> uh, no devil deal. That's fair enough, I suppose. I didn't really try to find a shopkeeper either because I got lazy. Um, Dark room, right? Yeah. I don't know how I keep forgetting this. Mostly, like, I got two things on my mind right now, which is, um, I should take allergy medicine after this run, because quite frankly, today is atrocious. But also, I'm just really happy that this this is the run that's making it with the Keeper. Just, just, even with the stupidest nonsense, <laughs> you can at least get somewhere with this. But I do appreciate that we just continuously get swords. That, that does help out a lot, I feel. Uh, I could play that, actually, because we do have the money for it. Ooh, okay. Does that do anything? Oh yeah, it changes the sword projectile into uh, into a thing. God, even the ah oh, god. <laughs> we have a, we've already done delirium as well. We really just need to do that. Yeah. Range up, tears up. Very nice. Any tears up is good, just because our charge rate is pretty rough right now, and that's just gonna improve it by a lot. I think I will. My apologies for any time I make the many zaps because it is very loud but also very effective. <laughs> uh, that's tempting. That's not too bad actually. Especially since we already have 12 keys as well. We don't really need the um, the thing anymore as much unless we find a key beggar in the dark room or something like that. Very nice. That is that taken care of. I don't really need to explore anything else anymore. There was a point where I would, but quite frankly, as our build has evolved, I feel like I don't need to worry about stuff so much anymore. I do need to not take that much damage, though. Oh, boy. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, occasionally that's going to happen. <laughs> and I will say nothing about it. It is just very effective. It clears bosses if I just mash that button, so occasionally it's gonna be loud zaps, but Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah, I'm just I just kind of want to finish the run. I guess I got nothing else going on anymore with this run Keeper now holds the store key. I got a million percent. I guess that doesn't seem right, but sure I'm guessing that unlocks where you get a certain amount of secrets and not so much when you actually have uh, what that originally was um, I mean Take that for the extra speed up. Uh, I'll take that just for the sake of using it once. Little haunt, not bad. And I'm just kind of curious what this is going to do, really. Uh, if that's going to make any difference. Leviathan. Ooh, our sword looks cool. Our sword is purple now, and it's like, yeah, that's neat. Yeah, I'm just going to buy everything, I guess. All right, we look a lot cooler now. Our, our lasers are purple. Oh, that might actually be a homing tech too, huh? Nope. Or is it? No, 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 it's just purple. <laughs> of course not. What was I even thinking? Ooh, and my sword is flashing red. All right, our, visually, the run became a lot stronger. Effectively speaking, it is very similar. <laughs> but you get the idea. It is, uh, it's doing what it needs to be doing. We can just take care of the rest of this from a large distance because all the ones that actually jump normally are not a worry. There we go. Zap, zap, zap. Yeah, it's a fun time. It's It's been a weird journey as his character for sure, but it's been an interesting one at least. It's a nice thing that the keeper runs are at least interesting, even though they are primarily due to my own terrible... Terrible choices. Uh, let's just shoot in that direction. That should kill him, right? And then the third one is here in the bottom, just hanging out. 
Very good. Occasionally one of my tears just takes a year to actually stop firing. I appreciate that. Could be good for something, probably. Don't mind that boss either, because they die very quickly. <laughs> it is very loud, but God, it does clear everything so well. I do need to be a little bit careful, because um, there is only so much health on this floor, I guess, but... I mean, they get rooms like this with Abel. That's almost a conjoined transformation right there. Glaucoma, Dagaz. Do I have a curse right now? No. I guess I might as well hold it. Could probably create some um, blue flies for wherever I use it, so that could end up being good. My sword disappeared, so... I, I was charging it, but then it just vanished. <laughs> I guess uh, I was trying to change directions with it, and it didn't really end up working out. Um, be nice. I don't like it when they're not being nice, and then I get very swingy. I get very swingy with my sword, and they don't care for it. It's a loud experience for everyone, and I'd like to avoid it as much as possible. I guess I should look for a secret room in case there's like an R key in there, but that's really the only thing I can think of. It would be nice to unlock uh, Tainted Keeper at some point as well. Can't really lose against that boss with this build, so that's good. Uh, I got two bombs though, so our odds are not really great, but not impossible. Alright, that went a lot quicker than expected. I guess I should just blow you up in case you have like a... Alright, yep, very good. Should blow that one up in case it has like a quarter or something inside it, but I feel like once it got coins in his eyes, the odds of that are just so dramatically less that it might not even be worth it. So I don't really mind how that ended up uh, being me just throwing away a bomb. <laughs> it's entirely fine. And there is the boss. And a large quantity of coins in case we wanted to heal up. Let's just charge our weapon up one more time. And fight the lab. Nice. Get rid of this boss. Very good. No. That's that's the run. <laughs> I guess I can uh, quickly check out the rest of this floor. But that went, uh, it went alright. It went okay at the end. I'm surprised that a run that started off with Dunscap Keeper ended up weirdly effective. What is happening? Oh god. The darkness in the darkness is creating a lot of darkness, which I guess uh, that's not too surprising as a combo, but didn't expect it to be quite so visually interesting in the dark. <laughs> but fair enough. There you go. It was the Keeper run. We unlocked Karma, which is a trinket that I continuously forget what it does every single time I see it or don't see it. It's just there in the game for me. And that is another couple things done is this character. We didn't get Boss, Rush, or Hush, unfortunately. But we did do the Dark Room, and that's any progress with this character is progress at the end of the day, and I don't mind that. We won with Keeper, Dunn's Cap, and quite frankly, that's something that I can say for the rest of my life, and I can appreciate that. So I hope you all enjoy it. Next time we play, we'll be doing another one as a different character. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.